So today I'm going to do a quick gerbil organisation video for you. Um, I'm not going to make it too long just because it takes ages to upload. Um, so most of the gerbils organisation are in these pink boxes just under Huey and Scruffy's tank. And then there's loads more organisation stuff um, under Pips and Marvin's tank as well. So I'll start with these boxes first. Okay, so the first thing I've got is just a box of monkey nuts. Just open them up for you. And they just like look like that. Um, so all the gerbils get these and peanut does as well. So that's just that. And then in this box it contains all the gerbil treats. So these boxes are just from IKEA and they're about £3.50 each. So the first thing I've got. Um, it's just a mixture of the pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Um, so sometimes I just pick them out so they don't get too many sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds because they can be quite high in fat. Um, so they'll just get these sparingly, probably one or, one or two each week. Um, yeah. Next thing they've got are just some friendly great crunches. And all the pets get them. Um, a tub of mealworms. These are the gerbils' favourite, probably. Um, they absolutely love them. And just a pot of black sunflower seeds as well. And they really enjoy them as well. But um, as I said, I only give them very sparingly as well because they contain a lot of fat. Next thing we've got is the beef uh, nibbly bits. Um, and it just contains potato, pea and carrot. Um, and it's just that and it's just dried up um, and they don't really like this to be honest I've still got quite a lot in the pack um, but I give Peanut some of it as well um, and he tends to eat it more next thing I've got are just some dog biscuits and um, well they like dog chews and the gerbils don't really like these either and um, they're not big, a big fan of dog treats so Peanut usually gets these as well and these are just like the pets at home brand ones Next thing we got are just the small and furry nibbles bago chews. You probably saw these in my recent haul, um, and it's just a pack of twelve wooden shaped chews, and I think they're fruit flavoured. Yeah, fruit flavoured wood treats for all small pets. And then they've got the small and furries mineral candy cakes as well. I've got two left. Um, I've put one in Marvin and Pip's tank and I really like it and I haven't put one in Huey and Scruffy's yet um, but I'm going to do that in a bit and they can go on the kebab as well next thing they got is the I can never pronounce this <laughs> uh, Dari yeah I think that's it, Dari Nibble Cub and it's by Borden Breakers Naturals and it says it's delicious Dari seeds still on the cob provides all small animals and birds with a great natural treat. They will almost think they were back in the wild. And so I just pick a tiny bit of this off, probably once a week, and give that to them. And I really like that as well. And then in here is just the board and breakers naturals, uh, what are they called? The marble things. I don't know. Um but they're just like May shaped round things um, and there's cheese flavour, carrot flavour and I think it's beetroot or something like that and they really like them as well um, and then just got a couple more wooden chews um, my, gerbil, gerb, no, my gerbils love to chew on anything sorry I can't talk today um, and just um, a bag clip to keep stuff fresh that's all the stuff in that one and I'll just put that away. So on to the next box. Um, this contains Huey and Scruffy's toys and I keep Huey and Scruffy's toys separately from Marvin and Pips just so their scent doesn't mix. Um, so what I tend to do is change their toys around probably once every two weeks when I clean them out just so they don't get bored with the same thing all the time. Um, so in this box they've got just a plastic water bottle. Um, but they've got their new glass one instead, um, which is a lot better than these plastic ones, just so they can't chew through them. Then they've got um, a little glass jar, which I put their bathing sand in there. 
then they've got this little wooden hidey hut thing which was by Woodlands at Pets at Home and they like chewing on this so they've gnawed around all this circle part and it just has a little dish at the top which you can put your food in there or treats then they've got this other wooden little hidey hut thing but it's like got a plastic side to it and um, they can't chew on this plastic because it's like properly I don't know it like slots in the side um, and they've gnawed on this as well and what I tend to do is like shove all their bedding in there so then they take out of there and put it and like make a nest and it did contain like a ladder but they chewed that completely to bits <laughs> so yeah then they've got this big cardboard tube which has like really thick cardboard and they've chewed a tiny bit on it but it'll probably take them ages to chew through all this but they like just hiding in it instead then they've got another wooden log thing with little holes in there but they can't fit through the holes it's more for like dwarf hamsters I think and they've really chewed on that then they've got their homemade hammock which is supposed to be um, like you can mould it into different shapes but I've attached two together and I hang it just up on the top like that um, but they haven't got it today just because I've filled that part with more Megazorb than usual and then they've just got two spare dishes whoops um, but I'm not feeding I'm not putting their food in dishes anymore I'm scatter feeding just because I've noticed that Huey is putting on a tiny bit of weight and um, what I'll do is just sit in the food in the food bowl for for ages and just eat and eat I mean that gerbil can just eat so much <laughs> and so what I do is scatter feed his food now just so they have to forage for it like what they do in the wild so that's all the stuff in that box then the last box from this side contains just like random stuff I'm not quite sure what's in here actually um, so there's a pack of wood shavings which my boyfriend bought me a couple of weeks ago because I'd run out of Megazorb um, but I didn't, didn't end up using them in the end um, so I'll probably just mix it in with the Megazorb and in this bag it just contains let's have a look Oh, it's those packets of Burgess XL, which I'll be giving away very soon. Then it's just a bag of chinchilla sand, a bag of Jerry Gerbil, which hasn't been opened yet, and half a bag of the Reggie Rat, which I'll mix in with the Jerry Gerbil. So that's everything from over this side. So I'm just going to go over to this side now. Sorry if it gets a bit dark. So as you can see I've filled the top level now, so they've got their water bottle up here, they've got a kebab with some wooden chews and a mineral stone and then I've put those like little log stick things just on the floor um, because I don't like these wire floors, I think they're bad for the feet so at least like most of the, the part of the floor is covered with that and then they've got another one up here, they've got a kiwi stick their food bowl, my camera kits go funny, and one of the wooden hidey huts as well. And so yeah, I think it looks a lot better now. And there's Pip, he's still up. He's just making his bed at the moment. <laughs> um, so under here contains more gerbil stuff. Um, there's just a bin which I put their style food in. Then in these boxes, the top one contains all my cleaning products. So there's just a pack of Dettol wipes which I don't use in any of their tanks or cages and um, this is just to like clean the surfaces around them and um, so you should never like use these sort of um, cleaning products in your tanks or cages just because it can be harmful to your pets and so as I said it's just to clean these surfaces around their tank. Marvin's up now, Marvin, hello. <laughs> Um, okay, back on with this. Then there's just a dustpan and brush, which I use to scoop out all the Megazorb. Um, a packet of, oops, a roll of bin liners, some toilet roll, another roll of bin liners, 
some string um, which I use to hang up their hammocks with some hand sanitizer which I use when I finish handling the pets some more bag clips and then I've got my labeler which I use to label all of their boxes so it's just those labels there and then just a spare cartridge so that's all the stuff in that one Then under the cleaning products box I've just got a box of the eco bale. So it's just cardboard squares. Um, I do have a massive bag of this down in the shed but because the bag is so huge I just empty a tiny bit of the eco bale into this box and then just mix it in with their Megazorb. So that's what's in those two boxes. Uh, under here I've just got some more wood shavings and um, like I said I ran out of Megazorb a couple of weeks ago and my boyfriend had to go out and get me some wood shavings and he bought me this one he didn't know which wood shavings to get me so he got me this one and then the wag one as well um, so I just need to use this one up which I'll be like probably mixing in with their Megazorb just so it doesn't go to waste and then I've got another one of these boxes which contains Marvin and Pip's toys in here, you know. So they've just got a spare silent wheel which was from um, five of all my hamsters cage. He sadly passed away um, about four or five months ago. Um, so that's just going to be a spare one if one of them breaks. And then they've got a spare food pot. They've also got one of these wooden logs as well which they haven't really chewed on. They chewed on a bit there, but they don't like it as much as um, Hugh and Scruffy's. Are you watching me? Muffin, are you watching me? <laughs> um, anyway, they've got another little food pot that came with that gerbilarium thing. Another food pot, which is from the top of that hidey hut there. They've also got a glass jar which I'll put their whoops, which I'll put their chinchilla sand in there. And then they've got a few wooden chews and they've got a large terracotta pot as well. And that is just the clip from the food pot. Like that metal one there. And then in this jar they've just got a load of bag clips as well. So they haven't got as many toys as Huey and Scruffy. Um, well they've got kind of the same it's just that they've got more toys in their tank at the moment than the other two so that's all their toys and then the last couple of things are just another bottle of hand san sanitizer I love my hand sanitizer <laughs> um, and then just their play pen um, which is yellow and it looks like that and I was a bit disappointed when I bought this actually because I thought it'd be all these different colours um, but it just ended up to be all yellow um, which I don't really care but it would have been nice or multicoloured um, but I have no idea why they've got a picture of a rabbit there because no way would a rabbit fit in one of these play pens but anyway I think it was just for decoration oh and Marvin was having a stretch then and then just under there is like um, a little etch sketch thing which isn't really gerbil related but anyway so yeah, that's all of my gerbil organisation. Um, sorry it was it's a bit rushed, but I just don't want this video to be too long. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!